Hey everyone, I'm Ryan. You're watching Sixty Cycle Hum, and in this video, I've got a box from Cattle and Bread to open up. I don't know everything about what's in here, but I do know it's called the Soft Focus. And I know it's meant to be an homage to a vintage Yamaha rack unit that is well known within the shoegaze community. I'm not much of a shoegaze player, but a lot of music that I play is and, and listen to and enjoy is very shoegaze adjacent. So I'm wondering how I'm gonna get along with this. So let's check it out. I've got a new blade here. My buddy Adam gave me a Leatherman recently. Let's get the blade that I want. There we go. <laughs> let's see if I can open this up without cutting all my fingers off because I need those fingers, right? I need them for playing. Here we go, what are we getting into? I wanna know, is it gonna be a double wide or is it gonna be a single space pedal? Kind of feel like with this box, it's going to be single spaced, but I could be surprised. Soft focus sticker, really nice soft airbrushed look there. What do we have? It's a single space. Good. <laughs> Honestly, prefer single space pedals. I'm much more likely to use them. Look at that. It looks like a digital readout. I'm assuming similar to the digital readout you'd find on that Yamaha unit. So let's get it plugged in and figured out. I'm gonna use this Guild Surfliner because I looked up some photos of the band Slow Dive, which is one of the bands that is known for playing with that original Yamaha rack unit. And I noticed that they play a Rickenbacker and a Telecaster. And I feel like this kind of lives somewhere between those two guitars. Kind of jangly, kind of twangy. I don't know. Tell me if I made the right decision down in the comments section. Let's adjust my seat to get the guitar in the frame a little bit better. And let's check this thing out. Here is my dry signal. I don't have anything on. I am on the bridge humbucker. Oh, and I'm running through the two Princeton's rig. <laughs> okay. It's on, but everything is turned down to zero. I didn't get a manual with this. That's one of the, um, the catch 22s of being a demo guy filming something before it launches is that you don't always get the manual. And I think it might be a digital manual because there's a little QR code there. I tried to scan it and uh, I'd need a password to get in. I'm not going to stop this video and wait for a password. I'm just going to fly by the seat of my pants. How hard could it be? It's five knobs. It's not a soft switch, so I don't think there's any tap tempo or anything like that. Let's get into it. Who knows? Maybe I'll miss something major. Tell me. <laughs> Did I miss something major? Because I don't have the manual. Volume is down, so let's start at noon. You know what? What do we have here? What do we have here? Before, before I get started, we've got synth, mod, verb, mix, and volume. I've put mix and volume up. <laughs> Even with the verb all the way down, there's something going on there. Definitely sounds like a digital rack, kind of like plate reverb. It goes full wet. That's probably like a time knob for the verb. Yeah. pretty. It doesn't drip, but it's not supposed to. Let's try on the mod. Very 80s synthy sounding.
even touch the last knob and this is already like, yeah, I'm gonna use this at church. It's just gonna happen. The synth knob, what are we gonna get into here? Is that symphony? It's not synth, like synthetic, it's symphony. All right, let's, let's start with it in the middle. I'll pull out the mod to make sure I'm hearing pure synth. Am I out of tune? The G string was a little bit out. Big surprise, right? Sounds like a low and high octave kind of shimmery sort of thing. How's that different from the mod? That has more of like a pulsy thing going on. But also a high and low shimmery sort of thing. So is it dual shimmers? it out. Oh yeah. trails and those modulations swell and bloom with your playing, especially kind of like light, strummy, chimey kind of playing. That's really pretty. I guess it doesn't pull the reverb all the way out, it decreases the time, so it's a really fast reverb now. Kind of a nice like reverse effect there. What happens if I max it out? The mix, I mean, max out the mix.
to listen to more shoegaze because that's that's beautiful. <laughs> off some lights get darker in here that looks better right it fits the mood of the pedal a little bit better darker and mysterious moodier I just need to change the tone of my voice. This is not a good voice for this style of pedal. I need to be a little bit more aloof. I need to bring in the mystery, some seriousness. Yeah, I think aloof and kind of introspective is what I need to go for here. All right, let's get back into it now that we've made important adjustments to the demo. <laughs> touch of fuzz here, some gentle, subtle fuzz.
usually do this in unboxing demos because it takes a lot of extra time and uh, I'll sit here and wring my hands over it forever if I can't get it right right away but I'm gonna try to lay down a little bit of a loop and jam over this I'm gonna turn on my air conditioner while I do it because we're in a bit of a heat wave here am I being introspective and aloof enough here comes the air conditioner you can hear it I'm gonna try to nail down a little bit of a loop to jam over. Pretty. Yeah, I'm sold. That's, it does the thing. I mean, disagree with me if you're, you know, a big shoegaze fan or whatever. You're much more informed than I am. But it, it seems to be an instant shoegaze button. Instant ethereal, ambient, soft, beautiful angelic pulsing vibrant alive but sad kinds of sounds do you agree with me you disagree you have other adjectives you want to throw out this thing good job cattle and bread it's simple it's easy i mean you turn it all the way up and you get this maximum effect you turn the mix all the way up if you want to have this kind of like reverse reverb sort of thing myself turning the top row, the synth, the mod, or the verb down, ever. Just turn them all up and break them off and then use the mix to control how much I actually want. Because that's just such a beautiful sound with them all running at the same time. <laughs> that wasn't a beautiful sound. Yeah.
That just fell out of me just now. I played two chords and like, I want to loop over that. And then I did, and it, it sounded awesome. That was just purely instinctual right now. I'm impressed. I'm, I'm really vibing with this. Am I a secret shoegazer and I just don't know it? Do I need to get big into shoegaze? It would probably be good for the channel if I did. I know there's a lot of shoegaze videos out there. I caught myself trying to get excited again. You know, pull back. Introspective. Aloof. That's what I'm going for right now. But yeah, what do you guys think? Huge thanks to Callum Red for sending this out to me. I can't wait to get this on my board and use it in a band setting at church. I think it's going to do that kind of ethereal, here comes the communion plate, you know, let's, uh, let's, uh, you know, <laughs> let's tithe really nice this weekend because there's something about the guitar sounds that are feel, make me feel extra spiritual this week. And, you know, this is a tithe generator <laughs> at church. I'm sorry. I'm supposed to stay serious and aloof and introspective, and I'm slipping into jokes about church. I didn't mean to do it, but yeah. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, just like, leave me rude and nasty comments. Support us on Patreon. Buy a shirt if you're naked and stay grounded. Bye, everyone.